Hey what's up, it's Brianna and today I have a book haul and bookish items haul to show you guys. So the first item I have to show you is actually right behind me and it is a new bookshelf which is really exciting because I have pretty much run out of room on all of the bookshelves that I have right now. So I'm going to be putting that together tonight, maybe tomorrow, um, sometime this week and yeah. So that will be really fun. I'm going to show you all of the items that are going on my bookshelves before I show you the actual books. Um, so I'm going to do this pretty quickly and yeah. So the first thing I have to show you is this little baby Mario plush and he is so cute. I just love him. So he is going to go on my bookshelf. And then I have a little Chica plush and if you don't know who Chica is, she is a character from Five Nights at Freddy's, which is something I am super obsessed with right now. So yeah, I love Chica so much and you will see my FNAF obsession pretty soon. <laughs> and then I have four FNAF little figurines to show you guys. So yeah, this first one is Golden Freddy. And then we have the animatronic skeleton, and Chica, and Foxy. They are all from Five Nights at Freddy's, and I love them so much, and they're going to go on my bookshelves. So most of these books are used, only one of them is brand new, and that was the one that came in my owl crate. So the first one that I got is Asylum by Madeline Rooks, and you have probably seen this book before on my bookshelves if you've been watching my videos because I have the paperback version of it but I did need the hardcover because the rest of the series I have in hardcover so now I have this one in hardcover too which is awesome and I don't know what I'm going to do with the paperback edition um let me know if you guys want it as like a giveaway because I don't need two copies of this book so I'm not gonna do like a, an official big giveaway for it but let me know if anyone does want it I really enjoyed this series so yeah the next book that I got is Control by Lydia Kang and this book just sounds really cool and intriguing and I've seen a lot of people who have it I haven't really heard that much about it though so let me know if you've read it and what you thought, but I thought it sounded really cool, so I picked it up. And then I got The Cuckoo's Calling by J.K. Rowling, and I don't really know much about this book other than it's a mystery series, and yeah, I, I don't really know anything about this book, but I decided to pick it up. Then I got The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin, and I have seen a ton of booktubers with this book, and I've just heard so many awesome things about it, so I got it, and I'm really excited to start this series. I've heard it's pretty creepy, and yeah, it just sounds like something that I would really like. And then I picked up The Girl from the Well by Ren Chepeco, and I love horror stories. I think horror is one of my favorite genres, so I just love how creepy this book looks. And yeah, I haven't really heard that much about it. I haven't heard very many people who have it, but I'm excited to try it out. And then in the Owl Crate for April, I got Flawed by Cecilia Ahern, and I've already read this book, and I'm going to be filming a review on it very soon, so you can hear all of my thoughts on it. But basically, I absolutely loved it. This is a dystopian book about a society that will brand you with a big F if you make a mistake in the society, and it's really crazy and just freaking awesome. So I definitely think you should check this out. The next book I have to show you guys is City of Ashes by Cassandra Clare. This is the second book in the Mortal Instruments series and I bought this one because I just finished City of Bones and I really liked it and me and Jen over at Batman Reads Books are going to buddy read this one as well. Unfortunately, this copy that I bought is pretty fucked up and 
I need a new one because it's like disfigured and water damaged and I am kind of vain when it comes to my books so I would like a new copy of this. But I don't know much about it and I'm excited to continue on with this series. The final book that I have acquired recently is the vampire book, Encyclopedia of the Undead, and my dad actually got this book for me because he knows how much I love vampires, and he bought it for me at a yard sale, and I love it so much. It's like, badass, and yeah, like, it's huge, but it's only, I think, 600 pages or something like that. So it looks a lot bigger than it is actually, but I am definitely going to read this. And another cool thing is that it's from the Bangor Public Library. And if you don't know, Bangor, Maine is where Stephen King lives. So I think that it's really cool. And thank you, Dad, for buying this for me because I do love it. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel if you would like to. My Twitter, Goodreads, and Instagram will all be linked in the description if you would like to find me on any social media. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!